motorcycle clothing and accessories obviously exist for practical and safety purposes, but fashion is becoming increasingly more important for the stylish motorist. The equivalent of, say, Hugo Boss and Armani is slowly creeping into the market. Now, back in the 70s, if you wanted a one-piece suit for your bike, you'd have had to have something like that, specially made. There you go. Handmade by Reg Cross there in Lincolnshire. Now, nowadays, obviously, you can walk into any modern-day clothing department and look like one of the super bike riders by buying a set of leathers off the peg. And some of the top-of-the-range leathers come in some really funky colours. I mean, take a look at some of these. You've got red, purple, orange, silver. And here we have the Piesta Resistance Gold. Really, for the style conscious amongst us, it's certainly going to get noticed in something like that, aren't you? Quite expensive there as well, around £700. Now, to finish the look, is this going a bit over the top? The chrome boots? Well, I'm not so sure about that, but uh, they're made for comfort and durability with that vertebrae back on there. But a uh, whole lot, just under £900. Style comes at a price. <laughs> now, first glance at something like that, you might wonder, what on earth it is. It is, in fact, a 1952 Everoak Pudding Basin helmet. Now, something like that is not going to offer too much protection, is it? Back in those days, something like that will have only set you back about five pounds. Slightly more expensive for the modern day equivalent. One of the top of the range showies, for instance, will set you back about 390 pounds. You can spend anything up to 500 these days. It's aerodynamic. It's got a complex ventilation system. It's quiet and it's also very practical. It's got a detachable washable lining. And it's also rather funky. Now, obviously, gloves have come a long way in quite a few years as well. Look at that. Doesn't it look uncomfortable? There's no protection. Not like this one. Look at that. State-of-the-art technology. Italian designer chic. It's incredibly comfortable. Really good quality leather. Loads of protection, but look at that. It does come at a price, doesn't it? £100. OK, so I've got my Carl Fogarty glasses, I've got my watch, I've got my keyring, I've got my visor, I've got my pants, I've got my purse, I've got my T-shirt, I've got my baseball cap, I've got my fleece. All I need now is my moped. 